today's episode is brought to you by Coca Cola. <laughs> I am. I'm on sugar. I'm not on alcohol. Oh. Not like some people. Mm, okay. Hi guys. Hi guys. Um, no, I'm just so drained from the week. Yeah, it's been a it's been a big week. It's, it's been, been a fun been, week though. It's been big. Oh, it's been fun, but I'm so drained. Yeah. Like very, literally. Yeah. <laughs> bad. No, yeah, I had a much deserved sleep on Sunday night. I felt a bit bad for everyone. I was trying, I was just doing so much. Both of us were running on empty by Sunday, but we were trying. Well, I think as a mixture of things, we had a very big, busy time the week before. Yeah. We had a lot to get done the week before. And then we didn't get a break on the weekend and you partied all weekend and I was doing other things. Yes. As straining as your partying. Yes. Um, and then we've gone in for a full week. Full and, week of workshops. Yeah, and people don't real like, I get in here at seven o'clock in the morning. Mm. I then do our mentoring things and those things and get onto it and take pretty much, I'm working eight hours straight without a break. I don't stop for lunch or anything. I just mm -hmm. eat with us on the run through to about six, six, six thirty, seven o'clock, then go home okay. and quickly do all the work that I haven't done during the day. Mm. And that then, I uh, can't do. That you can't do. Or what? No, that you won't do. I can do. I'm sorry. Some of that I can't. Some of that I can't. I know. That's all right. I'm just having fun with you. I'll paint the psych on Friday. Let's have a drink with the boys. Hey. I'm hanging. I'm hanging it. I'm having fun. Leave me alone. I'm joking. So anyway. Okay. I was going to. I was happy to. Yeah. I know. You, you worked for the uh, army for a long time as a gunner. A okay. gunner. <laughs> That was my dad's old joke. It was really bad. It's kind of good though. But yeah, so we, but the work, it was, it was fun. It was good. I feel like we can slow things down a bit more with the five day. It's still like a lot though. I don't know how to slow it down because we're trying to give as much information as big yeah. experience as possible. But it gets a point where, and sometimes we might, might give too much in such a short time that they can't it's digest like it. Yeah, it's over. Maybe I back off a fraction, just only do the super important stuff yeah. and slow it down. But it, nobody complained, everyone was wrapped. Mm. It's just more us doing the autopsy. Yes. The thing that you said we're not, we shouldn't do. Post-mortems. Post-mortems, no, you don't like post-mortems. Post no, I hate it after I've had a big night and then the next morning and someone's like, remember when you did, and it's like, don't remind me. No, I didn't remember. Now I know. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you for telling me what I didn't remember. Oh, there's some things you do remember that you're like, I don't want. And there's all the, oh, and I'm like, oh, don't, just don't bring it up, please. I hate that. Is that from when you were young and you at school parties and you start patch some kid at school and you really don't know why you did and you just didn't want to know about it? Next day, Similar, everyone yeah. reminds you how yeah. much you did it. Similar to that. Yes. No, that's where it comes from that smile thing that parents do. Yeah. Tell a kid to smile and you'll get the worst photos off that kid for the rest of their life. Yeah. Well, it's like even when I started going out clubbing and stuff and I was like 18 and so, like you're just immature and you're, you're in a club. You do and dumb shit. You do dumb <laughs> shit. And the next day, because I grew up in like, did you like MySpace time? So you'd log on MySpace and everyone's having like right or laugh at what you did and it's like, oh God, that's really embarrassing. Well, why did you put it up? Why did you put it up online for everyone to see? I didn't know. It? It's just everyone's online talking about what <laughs> oh. you did at the club, and it's oh, they like, didn't film oh. it and show everyone. No, no that's more no. A now time, isn't it? Yeah, My I think space that's a... wasn't like that. No, no, I think I think even things have shifted different now. Like TikTok era is very different. I don't know. I don't go there. No, I just feel like I just feel like the, the new generation been on is TikTok. I've only seen TikToks come up somewhere else. Well, I've never gone on to TikTok. And I've just noticed even just this generation. Like just, like oh. I, sound, I sound like an old person now. You are, you're I'm so 30, old. I'm 30 and now I'm like, and this generation is well, so different. We just had a taste of it and it yeah. was just so different. So different. It's you didn't think 10 years, because it's only 10 years difference, is it? About 10 yeah, years? Yeah, about. No, it's only about no, eight, eight years. years. But uh, I find that with a few, because I've got like one of my really good mates is, she's 22, so she's eight years younger than me. And Yeah, but if, if anything, I would say, you were on the, you lived every bit as late as you could before you moved generations. Yeah. So everybody else was more like 10, 12 years. Yeah. But you hung on to that bit longer than anybody else did because you loved it too much. Yeah. Cling on. <laughs> <laughs> cling on. <laughs> you don't want to let it go. Yeah, it's that, that sheep that you see running away and there's this one bit of cling on just won't get off the tail. It doesn't matter what it does, it just clings on. That's me. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> the dag. <laughs> 
the world's clingoniest egg. <laughs> Um, good start. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that we're oh, both uh, mentally uh, empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a tin my eyes. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, that got me good. <laughs> so, I the first it. episode, you're going to see this lamb running away. <laughs> it's <laughs> like a pigeon out <laughs> in my head. Oh, that's funny. So hopefully that person just spat his cornflakes over his computer screen. Sorry about it's that. It's his fault that. for not putting a plastic protector over it before he watched us. How have we gotten so wonky with the this as well? Well, I think I'm just trying to get away from you. <laughs> trying to get away from them. <laughs> no, how come you've ended up on there? That's what I'm confused about. You set this... Oh, it's so, oh we've got blockers. You, you need to <laughs> unblock your wheel. It'd be easy to move the camera, but we'll do it the hard way. <laughs> Let's do it the back way. Let's move the desk and spill all our drinks. Oh, no. no, now that's wrong. <laughs> so people in bloody world are missing out on... This is what happens when you don't give yourselves breaks and you work too much. You turn into delirious messes. <laughs> Does it matter where the table is? Why, no, you... why don't I just move the camera? <laughs> because... <laughs> that's, oh, that's it. Okay. Oh, that's okay. good. I've got space. Got, okay, this I don't is feel fun. like you're trying to cuddle me now. It's okay. good. <laughs> got there. That was the most difficult way of doing things. Why do it the easy way when you can do it that way? When way you can do it back way. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's more fun. <laughs> do it for the plot. The plot. <laughs> you do it for the story. <laughs> and how was your week? My week was busy. I did not Come stop. on, you had decent... Come on, spit it out, all the exciting things you had happen. Oh so we had work and then I went to... Oh, no, wait, I went up to Neelix. Yeah, and? And I met Neelix and I showed him my tattoo and he told me that at Tomorrowland, he, if I bring a sign that says bring me on stage, he'll see it and he'll bring me on stage. He'll but bring you. It's bring, I didn't know bring me was doing... No, he'll... <laughs> he said he'll bring me and Jared on stage because we showed him our little tattoos that we have and that was really cool. And we got to see him twice and then sorry I went to a festival like a one day festival it was a bit meh. Me, 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 me. was great but you know, that didn't really vibe the crowd. The crowd wasn't. Sorry where was it? St Kilda. Sorry do I need to go any further? Yeah no. <laughs> and the mixture of DJs I heard one DJ trying to make chilli peppers sound like. It was cool I liked that. Well, it didn't sound good off your oh, phone. I thought, I thought your, your thing you sent me was sort of like what's Mandragora doing then I realised it wasn't. It was a mandra. <laughs> But then he, he said he was playing like unreleased stuff, which like... Your favourite thing in the world? No, but like I don't mind playing, because he's got like, he's done a few things on YouTube where he does like unreleased, like, I mean, like I said, he's been releasing. Everything's going to be, everything's unreleased at one point. <laughs> but I don't know, when I'm seeing someone live, I want to hear like the bangers. And I wanna the hear, bangers. I want to like dance to my favourite stuff. I don't feel like that's... I you don't, don't want to listen to future bangers. The future best song ever in the world you don't want to hear. I don't mind one or two of them, but I don't want a whole set of that. But I think that's what he went for, which, I mean, that's his artistic expression. License. That's fine. Yes. But... Who are you to say yeah. to him, I don't like that song? Exactly. Stop I'm playing gonna... it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in public. But I feel that people feel the need to do that too. <laughs> to others, they're like, I don't like this photo. It's like, okay. No, why are you taking it there? I'm talking about music. It's completely different. Because I was relating it back. No, in photography, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed oh. to actually go into someone's site and say, I don't like that photo, pull it down. <laughs> but with a musician, no, you can. That's not right to do that. It's not right. Nobody would ring up Led Zeppelin and say, hey, that song on that album, you didn't need like to remove it. it. Didn't off. like it, yeah. take it off. I think we've been there before. Yeah. I think we have, but yeah. <laughs> but so I did, so I saw him twice and I did all of, I did that. Well, I did all of I, I did, did that. I did all of I did that. <laughs> and well. you make fun of my talk. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran off very little sleep. I got there though. I, I have slept a little bit. You slept a little <laughs> bit. A little bit. Well, only while you were standing. Yeah. Yeah, she did four hours of modelling and I think she was asleep during that time. I was kind of there. You were kind of there. <laughs> Sorry for everybody who shot back kind of there. No, I was really trying my hardest. I think in the morning, like, well, no, because while I was getting hair and makeup done, I was closing my eyes and resting. So I was like, I need to... <laughs> so that was your sleep. <laughs> so even worse, so Becca's the person who decides what day we're doing what in our life. Yeah. 
And then she goes, oh, I've got this big festival. Oh, and that'll be fine. And I might go to the after party. <laughs> it'll be fine. Well, he was meant to finish at 1.30. And I was like, that's cool. I will be home by 2 and asleep by 2. Uh, 1.30 and you'd be home by 2. That's half an hour. Yeah, could get in. From room. where? From the city. To my place at 1.30 on a, Sunday, on a Saturday. No, Sunday morning. Yeah, no. Including booking and getting out of the place. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's half an hour for you to even get out of the place. No, I was very... Oh, were you? I was very... I need to get out. I must leave. <laughs> I must leave. I have got work. I'm tired. Well, even, like, when we were... Uh, we got to the after party, I was... I found a couch to sit on to Sorry, sit down. I must leave to get to the after party. No, I must leave to get home, and then I jumped to when I was at the after party. I found a little couch to sit down on for... A, a while. <laughs> it's very tired. <laughs> falling asleep in the taxi from St Kilda to the city to the after party. I was very tired. <laughs> but I persevered and I got home and I crashed and then I was very cra cross when my alarm went off in the morning. Yeah, cross with me. No, cross with my I alarm. I arranged the workshop to no, be on that day. No, I wasn't cross with you. I was cross at my alarm for going off. <laughs> really rude. I have to go off and make noises in my ear when I just wanted to sleep. Yeah, no, it's my own fault. I've got no one to blame but myself. I don't blame anyone but me. I Why do you keep this? looking at me every time because you say Because I'm talking to every you. Every time you say this, you look back at me like it's, it's my fault for employing you. If I didn't employ you, this wouldn't be a problem. But I really like being employed. <laughs> <laughs> Please keep it that way. <laughs> I should just be kinder to myself and yeah, still stuff. I should be kinder to myself. I'm in charge of this. Why don't I look after myself more? Like, you get to go to the F1. I miss out on Slipknot. I'm even wearing a Slipknot t-shirt. Sorry. Who booked the workshop? I know, this is what I mean. I'm in charge of this. So I only get to go to F1. It's not because of my fault. I was going to miss out. No, you, I, I reckon this is why. This is why you. It doesn't mean that much <laughs> to me. I'm just seeing if I'm still got my boobs. Like Beck kept check, <laughs> checking her cleavage. I just checked mine. It's all there and accounted for. There's a little bit of growth happening down there, but we can get something to. We can wax that stuff off. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you get too tired. Yes. yes. When you work. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> and the F1, I'm, it's not like... I'm not in a super box or anything like that. I'm sitting in between sweaty people and I'll see a little bit of track this big and I'll be... Zuh, zuh. Who's coming first? Zuh. I don't know. Zuh. Look up at the screen. Oh, he's coming. Zuh. That's why I've never understood the appeal. Super boxes are fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything else is not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, sorry, I'll take that back. The smell of the the cars, the rubber. There is this. You can smell gearbox burnings. You can, so all those things. You've got to be a petrol head to understand this. Um, the hearing the jittering of tires. You know what that jitter means? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That's not a jittering of tyres. That's the rice burners. Sorry. That's when they put it into from slow cooker to far, to, <laughs> to nuke. Oh. <laughs> no, it's just that there is a feel on the track of the, the smells and the sounds and the downshifts and those type of things that you hear that sound and when you go back and watch it on TV, you still hear the real sounds in your head. So even though you can only hear a tiny bit, no matter how you, much you turn your stereo systems up, what you experience live sticks with you forever. I guess that's kind of like the same. Like I like feel it. Like I like it when the bass is so loud that you can like feel the bass. Like when you're actually like, at a show, like it's so much better than. But I I also do like just sitting on my couch and not dealing with people. But wouldn't you love that sound in your room? Oh yes. <laughs> But Unit 7 would probably have a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just that, no, that's been mixed, and this is what most people don't realise. You get home, you turn it up, it doesn't sound as good, does it? Yeah. No, because they've mixed it. Yeah. That The bottom end's kicking harder, they pull out the mids, so it's not sort of who in your ear. So it's mixed to be turned up loud. Yes. Right, whereas the mix you've got is to sound loud. Right. It's a whole thing I've been learning about sounding loud and, yeah, it's, it is. What's with your hands? I don't know. Stop copying me. I'm copying you and you're copying me. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's, it's, a, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. This is this. 
Well, this is this, and this is this because <laughs> this is what I learned when I was right back in, uh, in uh, sound engineering, that there's a difference of mixing for when you're mixing live to when you're mixing for people to listen on small speakers. You need to hear all the things. Mm -hmm. Once you start turning things out, you need to pull stuff out, otherwise it gets obnoxious. Interesting. And that's why the sound sounds so different. There. Yeah. Then when you get home, no matter how good your stereo is, you turn up and it just gets obnoxious. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, unless you've got an EQ and you can QE it. Anyway. Jared always fiddles around with that stuff. Does he? Yeah. It, does, it never car. sounds any good. No, he does in his car. He's always fiddling with the EQ and stuff. Well, because he, he did um, sound engineering as well. Oh. So he knows. But did it sound better? Well, I think so. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, back to zero. <laughs> he can tell the difference. I can tell the difference when he has the sub in the car to when he doesn't. Oh, Sounds don't. a lot better with the sub. You didn't get some tickets. <laughs> no, just the sub in the boot's fine. No, but it's even better. They just go under the seat. There's no sound. It just vibrates. I like the boom. Yeah, no, you get the boom. Oh, okay. I like the sub. I want a sub. We should put a sub in my car. Should put a sub in your car. Yeah. <laughs> I, like no, I think it would fall apart. <laughs> but you don't play music that loud. Because I don't have a sub. If I had a sub, I would. I do. I play music very loud. Whenever I turn up, it's too loud. You become a Cherie overnight. When I'm by myself, I like to listen to it oh. loud. That's just when I'm by myself. All right. It's a me thing. I know. Sorry. The dogs do hear you halfway up the hill. It's a me, yes. I see the dogs walk up to the door and it's a good five minutes before you arrive. I think they hear you coming Just, up. It's a me thing. See, if you had a sub one, they'd hear you when you left home. And that's yeah, sort of... it'd be sick. It's sick, mate. Sick. <laughs> Anyways, how was your week? How are you? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, it's, I know it. It just feels... I've just worked a little bit too hard. I took on extra things where I shouldn't have. I'd normally yeah. have a bit of a break and I didn't have a break. Yes. Um, yeah, most nights it was sort of one o'clock and up at six and then working really hard all day. Yeah. And just sort of caught up after a couple of weeks. Yes, I think you took on a little bit too much. You need to just a little bit. To ask, you need to offload things to me, even though I'm... Yeah, can <laughs> you please paint the psych? <laughs> Puddyland didn't see that look, but you would have heard it. <laughs> it's all right. I enjoyed painting it when I painted it. I like painting it. I know. I saw you do it. Oh, I had to drop people back at the hotel. It's all right. It's fine. I'm not. Ha I'm having fun with making you feel bad. <laughs> it's, I think, I, you know, I like painting it. So. Remember when we used to do live painting sessions? Yeah, I have people complain that we don't do that anymore. Oh, cool. uh, someone said that they want to see us doing cooking again. We can cook. We can well, cook I, it. I did. We can cook it. I did want to do. I mean, seriously, we should do a podcast with you cooking the pizza, and you have to work. You know, I, I'll have every, everything made, but Beck has to actually work with the seventy hydration flour and see if she can get any type of. What if I'm getting my nails of, done? That no, you not get, That's going to be even funnier. You with nails and a dough. One of my mates I caught up when she was at the festival, she's like, oh, you don't have nails on. She's like, I've never seen you without nails. <laughs> I know, right? It's weird. My nail person gave birth to baby and doesn't want to do nails anymore. Yeah. And also, I mean, I could find a new one, but I'm saving you money. You did find a new one. Yeah, but she only works Monday to Friday during business hours. And I also Who would work, do that? I also work Monday to Friday during business hours. Really? Yes. Can you tell your boss this? <laughs> wow. Well. The sass. <laughs> so I can't do that, but that's all right. I'm saving money. My nails are horrible though. Just don't look at them and you won't know. Just pick at them. Oh, you've gone back to your habits, yeah. old habits. I'm just a fidgeter. Like, yeah, I need no, a fidget you're, spinner. You are a fidget. Yeah, yeah, but. I don't think that's going to happen. You'd help. break it or yeah, lose it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to lose it more <laughs> Break like it or lose it. <laughs> I'm just a fidgety person. I think people have commented before saying this. They're like, mm, they call you anything. I'm just a fidgety person. Yeah. Mm. I've never known you anything other. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the smaller the creature gets, the more twitchy they get. Yeah, it's like me. If like you look at little mouses. <laughs> or a sparrow. The smaller a sparrow gets, the quicker their little movements are, <laughs> and they never stop. Except for some reason I got stretched. <laughs> I got stretched yeah, out little yeah. sparrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A liquefied sparrow. <laughs> yes. 
That's a good analogy. Yeah. So I've gone from being a little piece of poo to a liquefied sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyways, anyways, back on topics. Yeah, enough nonsense. One, yes. <laughs> One thing that did stand out pretty strong during the workshops, again, I'm seeing this more and more as the direction that people are thinking about with their photography more and more. And I saw it with a few of the people that once we started talking a little bit, I just said, well, what's wrong with the camera you got in your hand? Oh, nothing, but no, what's the but? Mm. If that other camera you're thinking about wasn't there, you're still happy you're using yours. You've been, and it was amazing how many of them realised that um, looking for that new piece of equipment and everything, it's a never-ending thing. It's yeah. just some camera brands have new cameras a long way apart and don't have very big changes at all, so they're not forcing people to have to. And Sony went into this really bad area with every three months with a new camera. Yeah, I feel with like all we these, Remember, like with all these big changes to every camera and yeah. just and nearly get, got into like this, I don't know, it was like, where's this ever going to stop? Mm. Maybe, well, it's a bit like the iPhones. Uh, yeah, I was, gonna, I was literally just about to bring up iPhones. Like, it's like every year they bring out the, a new iPhone and it's like, here's the exact same thing with a better camera. Well, that's why it's got to have a better camera. Yeah, it's sharper. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be sharper. <laughs> and the autofocus is quicker than anybody can even see. But it's the same phone. Yeah, it's, it's the like same It's literally photo. the same phone. But we put a sharpening filter in there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it on the ads where they're like, our best iPhone yet. I'm like, well, no shit. You're not going to bring out something that's worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, some companies do. <laughs> I.e. of one particular camera company. Ooh, Ooh. I didn't mention that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what a burn. <laughs> what a burn. <laughs> but yeah, I was, that was a big eye opener for me to see their reactions, but also mm. I could see in, in there, all of a sudden, some of the people that too much of their photography was, I need to buy this to be able to create this. And um, I can't do this because, I can't do this because, rather than saying, I can do this and this is how I'm going to do it, yeah. they always. They were stopping themselves from doing something. Thinking it's like related to gear and like they need to buy like, yeah, you know, they can't do this because I don't have this gear. It's like, no, like. I think the biggest eye opener, and I've done it on two workshops now, and I'm going to keep as, as something I do on others in the future, is a certain folio I show at the very end of the workshop where I explain the position the person is in when I'm taking the photo. And it's like the worst position you could put someone in to take a nice shot. And you still, yeah. And they're not models, they're not, and here you go, look what I got out of this person with all of these circumstances surrounding them yeah. on this particular day. Look at the shot I get, so don't carry on that oh, it's all right for you, you got models, it's all right. You, you know, got I this, can't you find got this, I, I can't, can't do this, I can't do that. It's like, no, I'll work with what you do have. And you yeah, can... and get the very best out of what you've got. And if you can't get, get it to be a lot better, you need to get better to make it better. It's, it's really putting that, it's your job to do this, so do it, don't. I give you the best model in the world, doesn't mean you're going to take a good picture. Or you might just get the same picture everybody else got out of her, yeah. which means that you're a nothing photographer. Which I think, I think I've heard you say this before, is that you'd be like, if we brought Kate Moss in here, oh, yeah. all of you are going to walk away with great shots, but they're all going to be the exact same because it's just going to be the exact same photo of Kate Moss that she gives you. The, yeah, the photo she gives you. Yeah. And I'm going to be that one person that might not get a picture out of her, but I'm the one person that says, no, Kate, this is what you give everybody else. Can we just sit yeah. down? Can we have a bit of a chat, chat. or can we like do, do something, something different? I want to get my version of you out. No, yes. all I would say to her, um, and I wouldn't even, I don't think I'd even need to go into saying I think she knows herself. I'd just say, Peter Lindbergh gets this look out of you, Irving Penn got that look out of yes. you. Each of these photographers got this, and you know that that's the photographer getting their own look. They, it's not like you, um, you look at their body of work and they have their look to it but they also make their models change mm. for their look. Yes. So, and that's now like Peter Lindbergh's version of Kate Moss and Helmut Newton's version of Kate Moss. And they're the things that, as a photographer, that's what you want to be. You don't want to be, oh, you photograph Kate Moss, I can't tell who took this picture because mm. you're, it doesn't look like a you picture, it just looks like Kate Moss. Mm. And I'm not talking about the retouching now because it's easy to make your retouching yours, but it'll be the expression on the eyes, this section, what are you doing? I'm cleaning oh. my glasses because they're a bit yeah. dirty. Um, 
it c comes down to what have you done to make her become your picture? Why I've, have you what have you made her feel different to the other photographers? I've I've been on many shoots in the past. Not like not like every actually no a decent amount of them, and photographers. Not in the future, only on the past. Hmm? So I'm having fun with this. Keep going. Have no not I said not to a few, but not. Too many, anyway. In the past. In the past. Not in the future. Oh, I see what you're talking oh. about. Oh, sorry. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> 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 and photographers have been like, oh, like, I just want to get that look that you give Peter or something like that. It's like, okay, but it's not just like something that I, oh, like, there'll be oh, like. This is a Peter look number one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is a Peter look number two. It's not something I just like turn on. It's like, oh, right, okay, sure, I'll give you the Peter. It's like, We've normally just been sitting there talking shit or like... <laughs> no, we would never do that. Or we're having some deep and meaningful conversation. We wouldn't do that me, either. <laughs> you've had, like, made me think about a certain... Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you've done something to get me to this look, to get that look out of me. It's not just like a... Like, you can't just tell someone, oh, give me that look that you gave me. It's like, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> it's like, that look. I love that look. Ah. We just did a little bit of a shoot before. It was supposed to be something else and we couldn't get that... We, we need to go elsewhere. We need to go outside. It just wasn't working. It wasn't working inside. We need to go to some trash. We tried to put me in the shopping trolley and we tried to put that there, but it, it just Didn't looked weird. Try hard. It looked, it looked really uni, uni student. Uni <laughs> student. <laughs> final year assignment <laughs> or the final year exhibition. This is going to be my killer shot for the exhibition. Let's do everything to the extreme that doesn't make sense. And I'm not putting uni students down. This is a learning. It's learning. And it's hundred percent. This is, if you don't learn this stuff, yeah. you need to do this stuff. So five years later, you can look back at the picture and go, oh, that's so uni I've, student. I've got that in like, so my high I've school. I've got some of them. Don't worry. My high school folio You saw stuff. the plastic wrap stuff I did. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but my high school stuff is, oh, it's atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> It's so bad, it's so so contrived and I'm thinking at the time, I'm like, this is so cool. You're so cool, Angie. you're the coolest person. I think one of my best friends put an actual octopus on her head. Oh, at least you didn't do what other people have seen do and maybe had it sitting somewhere else on a naked woman. Oh, no. You've seen that shot, haven't you? I have, yes. No, she had an octopus on her head. Um, anyway. I could be wrong, but I think I heard in one of the forums, this is going back a long time, this is back in the days of DeviantArt and things like that, mm. I think someone was trying to do, replicate a, quite a famous octopus picture and they had it draped over the girl and it actually bit her oh, up the there, beak. she was still alive. Mm. And yeah, the beak full on bit her mm. up here and because they ca carry saliva in there, she got quite sick from it. Mm, sure. So be careful of octopi. Yes, be careful. I love <laughs> octopi. I want to pet one. I want to pet They'll blue escape. Ring. No, 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 I'll keep it safe. It'll love me. No, <laughs> they're very, very smart. I they're know. like... <laughs> so smarter than me. <laughs> but I want a pet blue ring. And you just want to bring out your blue rings and you'd point at it because that's what they only bring out the rings as they're about to attack. I know. <laughs> I know. And I know they're very smart. I know they're escape artists, but they're so cool. Yes, they would escape. I know. And it's also kind of cruel to keep them in a box. I wonder what makes you think this. <laughs> but I want one. Maybe if you put a bit of water in, it would be not quite as cool. No, I mean, a glass, a glass water box. A glass box. A glass water box. A glass water box. A, glass water box. a tank. A tank. <laughs> as it's known. <laughs> <laughs> we all not rename it. The cardboard glass box. Anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Let's see what happens when we get really tired. Um, you were talking about... Oh, you detracted no, so much the, from our... No, we, it evolved. Uh, evolved. You were, <laughs> we were talking about... This is Coke, I promise you. <laughs> Let's see. Can... Oh, so we're going to sleep. That's right. It's, it's fine? Be, yeah, it's in YouTube safe mode. Okay, cool. Um, no, you were talking about people doing, making excuses, saying they can't do this, they need the gear, and then we were talking about you getting your look out of people and... Then we start talking about octopuses. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get octopies? Oh, we, that was something we found out today. Well, I found out today and you wanted to argue it about me. What? So we have one goldfish in a bowl. It's called a fish. Just, if we have three goldfishes in a bowl. It's called a fish. But if it's a goldfish, a carp and a trout, they're called fishes. I think, I think that's because when you said it, if it's three of the same, it's still a fish. No, it's called, it, they're called... Fish. Fish. Yes, so you'd be like, I've got some fish, but if you've got different ones, you'd say, I've got fishes. 
Yes. It makes sense now. It's the way that you worded it. Very was that the chair? <laughs> What did you No, pop? it was a chair. No, it was your chair. <laughs> you was, I didn't pop, I promise you. I see it's your chair. Is that the chair? Which chair? Or are you getting squeaky? I don't know. Yeah, see yours oh, is it. That's my chair. I don't know. I'm going to check the microphones and I'm going to amplify that <laughs> second and double not, check it. Not. If it's on your microphone. It's not pop off. <laughs> if it's on the you sure your chair. You're not Russian? You didn't pop off? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, there's another spit oh. of cornflakes on someone's brain. Um, oh, you've distracted me again. I was all ready to... Yeah, pulling that face is not going to help. I'm trying to think. Sorry, I was just wanting to get back to your thinking face. Oh, my thinking face. Yes. What were we saying? My thinking face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you completely destroyed me a second time. Mm -hmm. I was... About to talk and you... Oh, there was this. You said fishes. It's your chair. It's my chair. We were talking about fishes. Yes. But before, oh yeah, before we got to fishes. See, yeah. you stopped talking about that, not me. Uh -huh. You distracted yourself. <laughs> you allowed me to get this. Are you supposed to be my PA? Are you supposed to stop me on this and oh. get me back online? It's your job. And I don't know where you were going because you just started talking about fishes. No, it's all right. It's my fault. I take full blame. <laughs> I employed you, <laughs> so it's my fault. <laughs> okay. I think it's the best argument I ever learned. So it's a right, word so can I never come. I, I know because you can never come back I against know, it. It's why I no, it's you didn't just smash that car up and ride off. It's my fault for employing you. Yeah, I know. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's like, I shouldn't. If I didn't employ you, this would have not happened. But please continue to do so. <laughs> <laughs> please. Just until you finish your uh, long service leave in Europe. No, just for, forever. Forever, <laughs> please. All right, so I'm going to get back on, back online. So some of the things that stood out in the last, a lot of people don't realise when you, sorry, when I are joining the workshops, I'm learning as much as they mm -hmm. learning. Sorry, this is gassy. <laughs> I just burped three times, sorry, it was silence, but they must have smell as bad as the other ones. Yeah. Mm, no, I just wore it. We're never doing a podcast after working seven days straight. <laughs> anyway, so what I, I learnt is while I'm saying something out loud, I'm actually I'm listening to it myself. Yes. And then there was that closed loop, open loop thing I was trying to tell you about. Like, so you're learning like... So what they say, closed loop is like a fighter. They train, 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 train. It's all reactionary. Mm. So this triggers this. this tri they don't have to think. Yes. Open loop is where you have to tell yourself the instructions every single time. Right. And uh, what they say is someone like a really good sniper will actually say, take a deep breath, look down the barrel, lift the barrel, aim the barrel, squeeze, 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 bang, follow. Yep. So they actually say this in their head every single shot because then when they get to the 99 point, like they're trying to get 1,000 shots hitting the ball tight every time. When they get to the very last one, if they don't follow that, they'll miss that last shot. Yeah. Because they'll go, oh, whatever you do, don't miss it. You've just um, yeah. destroyed it. So I was trying to explain to people because they were trying to understand how my mind worked, which nobody doesn't will. Um, but I still <laughs> more and more doing the tutorials and the videos and all of that thing. People are actually hearing what I'm actually really saying inside yeah. my own head. And all I've learned is to now say it rather than think, think it. it. So that's how I can just be things and just be very open. I oh, see that over there. That that bugs me. This bugs me. I'm going to fix this. But that's what's going. That's on what's in your actually head. going on in my head. Yeah. You're not like you're not necessarily you're not just saying this to teach them. You're you're telling this them is this is how what, I think. Uh, yeah. This is my brain has said. Watch that white that light over there. It's too cookie. Let's recompose. No, I don't like to see what's mm. happening. Here. And this is all exactly what yeah. my head is saying until I get to the squeeze, squeeze, got the shot. Yeah. Um. 
And once I got even further into that, I started then to see that next level of some of them when we we're doing the shop with you, we started off just with clamshell. Mm -hmm. And next minute we're adding all these other lights. And now they're going, how you just kept on saying, we need to spark this up a little bit. And you've, I've never done this. You've never seen me do this lighting before. No. But I just looked at it. And because being the five day workshop, we can slow things down a little bit. I said, yeah, this looks great. But how would I make it a fraction better? And everyone's like, but it's great. And you're like, no, but this is how my brain works. I want to always make it better, even yeah. though it's great. What's the it one thing better. I don't like in the picture? Let's fix that. So I'll just look at it. All and right, then we'll so tell Beck to piss off. Yeah. <laughs> I beat you to it. <laughs> I would never tell you to piss off. I just say, can you take two steps that way so someone else can take two <laughs> steps this way? <laughs> can, you, can you go make me a cup of coffee for a minute? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, can you take long service and see what happens when you get back? Don't. No, she's getting so worried about this. This is so much fun. <laughs> hey, it's all right. So nothing changed and Beck's back from her super. <laughs> I'm back. Yep. Um, yeah, everything stayed the same. Exactly um, the same. Yes, nothing has nothing changed. Nothing's changed at all. Whatsoever. Except you. Oh, you went you went in your super, you changed your shirt. Yes. Yes. And put on and a jacket. covered yourself back in cat fluff <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> and put on a jacket. <laughs> and put on a jacket. <laughs> and I changed t-shirts. Yes. Although I didn't, I bought me coke in yesterday's episode <laughs> right. that, for anybody who doesn't know, our sound only recorded half our episode because we were too tired to check. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing the second half, today. half today. Yes, it's almost like Yesterday's two. second half was amazing, but we can't even hear what we said because <laughs> the sound didn't work. No, we know it was amazing. I was pretty, I think it was good. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It was pretty good, actually. Especially when we recorded you going to the toilet. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> we didn't actually record me going to the toilet, by the way. So you say. We didn't. I did. I turned the mic back on. That's very strange. No, I just went over the tap with the... Oh. You, Beck didn't see any of the stuff. Well, obviously not. I had to use the lavatory. Well, I went over to the tap with your oh, <laughs> lab oh, and turned my... head dripping water. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you missed out on all of that. Anyway, for everybody who's confused, yes, our uh, very, very tired podcast yesterday <laughs> that we did for about an hour and five minutes turned off at 38 minutes. Yeah, so we have to just fill in some time. Yeah, try and remember what we what we. I know what we kind of spoke about. I'm not as tired. No, no I, I didn't have a very good sleep last night. I'm still tired. No, I slept like a log. I didn't. I slept really well. I worked pretty late, but I still slept like a log. I've already broken sleep. I think this is the annoying thing is I've been so tired, but I just still can't sleep properly. Properly? Yeah. <laughs> like I'll sleep for a few <laughs> hours and then I wake up. Hose. Yeah, it's, it's annoying. That's all right. Or maybe hopefully I'll get a good sleep after this weekend. You're getting a good sleep this weekend. You're going camping for three days. Camping, yes. Camping. You are. Well, I'm coming down with some kind of flu thing. Well, you're coming down with flu. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. Not. I remember one thing we spoke about yesterday. Oh, it's your anniversary on yeah. the tenth for when yeah. you bonga bonga. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, you told me that yesterday. You were telling everybody about. I didn't say your it was experience a day on we... the first time you did it. I did not say that. I said. Well, oh, I can't check because the sound turned off. I said it was mine and Jared's anniversary on Friday. On Friday. Yes. Oh, that's right. That was the anniversary. Will you be my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> it's funnies. Well, I would have loved to have seen it. I would have loved to have recorded it. Why? Because I'll just play it back to you now. <laughs> no, it's going to be nine years on Friday. Nine years. So anybody who doesn't know, yeah. Beck's off to a doof bush. A doof of bush and... Yeah. A festival. A festival. That's just what we call them here in and Australia. And she's checked into a really romantic no. <laughs> ten-star hotel out in the country. <laughs> That's basically a mattress in a shed. <laughs> oh my god, we are staying in a motel because it's, we'll get like first in line to get into the festival on Friday morning. We're staying with other people. Our friends' camp are staying with us. Oh, so that's oh, so it's more than a, it's a bigger anniversary than I thought. <laughs> We're gonna go to the pub. You're gonna go to the pub. Well, is it gonna become a show now? 
is it like a stage show? Is this like Priscilla Queen of the Desert? It's you going to a live show in the country? <laughs> anyway, you, you, to get first in line means you're going to have to get out of bed in the morning. Yeah, I will. Yeah, good luck with this. I will. I did it last year. Oh, did you? Yes. Did you stay in the motel last yes. year? Yes. Oh. I wasn't first in line, but we did beat a lot of the line because the year previous to that, which was the weekend before the world ended, it was like literally the weekend that lockdown happened. We were at a festival. We get back and we're like, and everyone's like, oh, we're going into lockdown. And we're just like, what, what did we miss? Let's go back to the <laughs> festival. <laughs> um, but yeah, that year we were in line for like four or five hours sitting in the car. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm doing this weekend. I'm excited. Hopefully I don't get more sick than I am, though. That's not going to be fun. Camping in the bush, in the cold, with a flu. With swollen a glands. The swollen glands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've come up with Beck's new OnlyFans page. <laughs> it's going to be called Swollen Glands. Well, it's going to be Lonely Clam, but oh, now it's going to be Swollen lonely Clams. Lonely Clams. I still like Lonely Clams. Lonely Clams, I think it's pretty good. Swollen. Swollen Glands, I think it's even better. <laughs> we should start. We, that's our next app we make. Okay. We can do uh, a thing called Swollen Glands, and it can be somewhere where people pay for view. Of people swollen glands. <laughs> it could be throat cam. <laughs> I think we're still tired. <laughs> I really think we're still tired. What are you, I'm a throat cam girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't even go there. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, I remember something else that you were speaking about yesterday. What was that? About. A about. Your. Yours, um, oh, I don't, you're stepping oh, my, down from... Oh, I was going to leave that towards the end, but okay. we can do that now no, if you want. Fine. That's fine. I just didn't know if you'd forgotten or if you... Had... No, no, I was going to stretch. Okay. Although we could talk about it now because oh, okay. we have... Yeah. Our monitor disappeared and we've got all these cameras sitting behind us for some stupid reason. I don't know why. But if you watch YouTube next week, you'll see my little talk about why, why I'm using what I'm using and what I've changed. And part of it, I mean, we can, if I could bring it down now. No. We can punch it up at the end. It's not going to have to be a down now thing. No, it's a little bit down still for me. I was yeah, talking I to know. somebody else about it and it's a shame. It is. But, you know, we'll, we'll talk about no. it. Um, on, on our workshop, I f didn't feel, I felt very, very uncomfortable during the time because a couple of guys had gone out and bought gear based on who I was an ambassador for. Mm -hmm. And it made me feel really bad because they didn't ring me up first or talk to me about it. It was more like the only Hasselblad they could buy was the very latest one. Uh, the, the H6 doesn't exist anymore. It's Your been phase. completely phased out, can't get repaired, can't buy one. So once mine die, that's the end. Mm. Um, and with that and the two guys who both bought the newer one and both of them unhappy, one broke. Like literally the lens snapped off the body. It was so weak. And so it was like, you'd bend it with your finger, it was so weak. Mm -hmm. And it's taken three months and they haven't even repaired. And they've only just repaired it in three months. Damn. So it's really poor. And the whole, I think the whole thing doesn't sit well with me. Mm -hmm. So I did ring up Hasselblad a couple of nights ago and resign as an ambassador. And it's sad because I've been, with them for a long time, even before I was ambassador, I used to do a lot of testing for them. Mm. Um, a lot, a lot of good people. I used to know who aren't at Hasselblad anymore, but I got so many friends who are still, are still in contact with, um, especially Hans and people like Damon and mm. Will and all of those guys. Um, it's an it's end just, of an era. It's an end of an era, but see, it's sad being an end of an era. It's the start of another era, a bit. Yeah. But it is sad, it's still, the H6 is still my favourite camera, especially mm -hmm. in the studio. Well, it's my favourite camera, even outside. I would be shooting with it a lot more outside if it wasn't the fact that they're the last top. two. Yeah. If, you know, it gets water on it or dust or gets dropped yeah, or it gets stolen. Cactus. So I pretty much keep it in this studio. Yep, under lock and key. Under lock and key and, <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly careful with it. And um, I'm just... I don't just, go near it. Pretty much only using one of the cameras. So I'm gonna let that run into the ground and when and that breaks, I'll use the other one. 
And when they both break, I'll send off to someone and see if they can build one out of the two. <laughs> yeah, I'll get, hopefully a different thing breaks. Hopefully. <laughs> and I've still got my X, my X uh, 1D Mark II, which I can still get by with a bit. I just got to shoot it a little bit different. Yeah. It's the same sensor, so I get exactly the same quality picture. I can still put my Hassel H lenses on it, so I still have the, the glass I like. Um, but it's still not, to me, it's, it's not a mirrorless, it's sort of halfway between hybrid hybridy thing, which I don't understand why. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've res pretty much removed all ambassadorships, mainly because I feel that, uh, and a lot of people don't realize what's, what it takes to be an ambassador. Mm. You, some people think, oh, you just get I just got to ring up every camera and see company and see which one's going to take me on as an ambassador. Well, that will never happen. Yeah. Basically, you need to own nearly everything they make and be using it for five or six years. And they like your images, and you got a big following. Then they ring you up and, and start you. talking to you. And they're not giving you money. They're not giving you free mm. gear. If you're getting gear, you have to pay it off one way or another. Um, I, you know, things like express, express servicing, uh, slightly discount on the gear, um, better express, like once in London, my camera went down in London and literally within, I think it was an hour, an hour and a half, I had another camera to me and taking the other one away. It was really, really quick, that's the turnaround fast. they did because they realised the value of yeah. me having one that's working. Um, other companies like Zeiss and that, like they've been amazing to me, they've never done anything wrong. Mm. But if I start talking about Zeiss, people are going to go, oh, he's an ambassador, so of course it's good. Yeah. Whereas if I'm not an ambassador for so anything... It doesn't feel authentic. It's not authentic, yeah. Yeah. So I, it, I'm not going to take on an ambassador for anybody, and it's better for them too. So if I'm using Leica, it's because I like it. It's not because Leica are like giving me anything. I like a Malika. <laughs> and yes, I do really like Malika gear, and... I'm shooting with that more and more with natural light, and, well, pretty much shooting it only in natural light and constant light, where Sony's been put off to video more. Mm -hmm. Or if I need super fast autofocus for something action-y. Yeah. But, but that's where we've got a YouTube coming up yeah. next week. Yes. Yeah. Well, that is kind of sad, but still. At least now you have, like, like you said, like. Oh, no, it's only, it's more sad that to me, Hasselblad was such an amazing camera brand mm. and I'm more sad that I can't see it coming back because it's now been made for rich people who aren't photographers, whereas yeah. before it was mm. made by a photographer for, for photographers. Yes. There's a big, big difference. Now, the whole everything that was put into their latest camera was put in by the marketing team, not by a photographer. Yeah. I really should have spoken to photographers about it and seen. Well, I did have doing. someone the other day say to me that he's got lots of super rich people, and he's sort of gone out to get a GoFundMe page for me to build a camera. Well, that's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite interesting. I don't know if he's got the contacts he says he has. That's really But it wouldn't cute. be hard for me to do it because. I mean, you know. Well, I, I could just say to a company, hey, with your camera, can we make a, your, m my version of it mm. and get some proper IT people and in there to redesign menu systems and put all the things I want in a camera. And then it'd be really cool if we could get license for focus and then I rejig it for the camera we've made. Rejig it. it. <laughs> and just change a few little things in there. Um, although I'm, I am getting... Then everyone would have your clarity slide on. Well, I'd much prefer that. I know. No although kidding. everybody does have my clarity <laughs> slider now, and I am going to put some... I've got a, some tutorials, so no, it's not a plug for Inspire, but I'm this weekend going to record about six or eight tutorials about a very quick way I can put my clarity look onto a pitch with much more accuracy. Like, a, I can actually now do it without such big halos or put small halos, I can lift the contrast, all of that in Lightroom. Just for your friend who hates the halos. In fact, I should name one after him. No, he actually <laughs> like he's, he's, I think at the end he got it because some one of his favourite photos had a halo in it and he didn't realise that this is what happened if you over contrast large format film. This is an effect that happened. And once I showed him a couple of examples, I was, oh, 
now I understand why you do this. It's not you don't know how to dodge and burn. <laughs> Oops. Oh, oops but it's still, this. even if it was just really crappy dodging and burning, it was a, the, the look was still a style I liked. Yeah. But he wasn't to know that I was trying to replicate large format film over contrast. But, but it's like all the things. It's um, whenever I, that, that beautiful muted Fifty Shades of Grey. So there's nothing white and it's not, nothing black and it's not high contrast. It's stuff that Mario did with Kate Moss. Other stuff that I see is flat and boring. Yeah, but to me, <laughs> to you it's amazing. It is, it's very hard to do. It is really? so hard to get that just right. Oh, it's not an easy thing to do. There was a picture one the models wanted to copy the other day, and I really struggled to get those highlights right because it was a highlight, but they weren't white. Oh, interesting. Um, it was that same thing. It was that nothing hits white, nothing hits black. It has low contrast, but still really, it's Fifty Shades of Grey. And it's a very hard thing to do. It's something I really, really enjoy chasing. And it's a bit like the Helmut Newton um, muted blurry shadow. That okay. took me a long time to get that right. Yeah. And even then I still reckon he gets it better. But he was shooting his stuff in film and I think that might have been the difference. Why is that a difference? Uh, film just... Uh, the gradients work a bit different in film than they work in digital. Getting your gradients through a shadow work a bit different. Right. Like, I can never get the exact gradient I'm seeing in film without micro dodging and burning for two days. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, all of that, that stuff. And it's a little bit like the tutorial we put up on YouTube the other day. Some oh, yeah. people just said, oh, it just looks like you went out and took a happy snap. Yeah. They don't understand. It's style. It's a style, but it's also the time I went in to get Rara just into that little bit of light between the palm trees. Yeah. They weren't there. And it's sort of like, but most people, like, the, it's gone well. I think most people appreciated what we were doing. It was just maybe a couple of camera clubbers who Your wanted more scene. contrast. And why didn't you take a flashlight out with you? <laughs> so, and so I'm not picking on that. That's, if I wanted that look, I would have done it. Exactly. And we did a shoot the other day with Bala in a bathtub out the front. It was fun to do and I balanced it and everything, but it's not my look. Yeah, it was very Ellen Von Unworthy. Ellen Von Unworthy, a bit David LaChapelle. Yes, it was very David LaChapelle. It's not really my look. And although I've taught some people how to go about getting that look, mm. uh, I, I still want to do a little bit more of that stuff, but it's not what my channel's more about. What you do? Yeah, what I do and more getting the model right. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter of everything else. If if the model just does this something, this split second you capture it, mm. it doesn't matter about the lighting. That's the picture there. Yeah. You've seen that yourself. Of course I have. Yesterday shoot. Yes. 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 That was a long to pause. No. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it was more than 12 hours ago. The brain had to go through all of the steps it's done for the last 12 hours <laughs> and just tick them off. <laughs> yeah, well, I, was thinking, I, was like, I was like, we didn't shoot anyone yesterday. That I was like, oh, wait, no, that was me. That was you. <laughs> oh, Earth to Beck. <laughs> <laughs> the Beck stuff. <laughs> So I was thinking this weekend I might bring my film camera with me and I might take some film photos. At to a bush dorf. Yes. Dust. Yeah? Yeah, that's all right. You're welcome that's to. That's my look. That's Don't judge look. my style. I'm not judging your style. That's fine. I'm finding my style. You're fi <laughs> have you taken a picture with it yet? No. Not one. Do um, you have film? Yeah, you put film in there for me. Oh, but you got, tw you got 24 shots. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Photos of my mates and stuff. You should take a couple of the Instamatic yeah, disposable cool. ones. But, um, Shay took a couple because Shay's doing her book okay. on Instamatic pictures. Cool. And she just needs a couple more rolls to finish her book. Cool. Then you could do your, your Bushdorf book. My <laughs> book. That could be cool. And then you can teach me how to develop and then I can develop them. Well, I've given up waiting for that. That's why I'm taking a whole heap of film off to be developed. I'm sorry, but I... No, we've been busy. It's all right. I'm not the, I'm not, I haven't taught you, so that's the no, so blame games. It sounded like you were blaming me. No, I'm not blaming you. Okay, thank you. 
We have been busy. We have been very, very busy. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the Earth's only going to get busier as the calendar fills for the year. But I know we, we're shuffling some stuff around, so we're redoing our um, workshops. Mm -hmm. Like we've set out for Europe and America. We might do a little bit of a twist in America. We might yeah. drop a couple of. I clangers so. in there. Clangers. Clangers. Um, we, we've already put Europe. Well, Europe, we've just kind of shuffled around this, what we, the schedule. Kind the of. schedule is a bit more shuffling around. It looks like there might be some more dates in yeah. Europe. Um, so we might end up being chock a block full and I mightn't quite shoot as much as I was going to shoot now. Which is a shame. That's all right. We can still try and squeeze in shooting. Oh, you yeah, know, I'm definitely going to do that. We've got few of my favourites over there and we'll yeah. get onto them as soon as possible. Yes. And... and we, might, we might change things up for America. We might drop yes. in some new... Some, some new, new content. New never before seen stuff. New way of thinking. And I, I think that's where on a push. Yeah. I... I'm getting fed up with the world that's been sucked in by advertisers and camera companies. So they're putting the most importance on the, the fastest autofocus in the world. Sharpest lens. The sharpest lens and the most megapixels. Well, those three things do not take a great picture. Yes. A great picture is you having the hindsight to see something's going to happen and capture it or to affect what's going to happen to capture the moment that you've created. Oh, is that something we spoke about yesterday? I can't remember that I said that I'd been on shoots with photographers and... Yeah, so we... Yeah, and I said they, they'll be... I think, we, I think that's still in there. Oh, OK. I, can, I, I heard it when I was... Oh. So I know that's in there. The Kate Moss thing and all that. The silence will go back to capturing the moment then. But yeah, I guess that's it. It's just like capturing the... That's what makes a good photo. It doesn't matter how sharp it is and how many mega. Like, why does it? So megapixels only matters if you're blowing it up, don't they? Or you're really sloppy and you just want to shoot super wide and then cut the little picture out of it. You cut the thumbnail like out of it. People who paint paintings and then cut out a little. Yeah, all the it. artists that paint a big painting <laughs> and cut little stamp sizings out of them <laughs> and put them in frames and sell them. Well, it'd be handy. You could actually cut a painting up into five and make five times the amount of money. <laughs> I do find it a bit bizarre. I, I'm enjoying a lot um, on Twitter because I found some really, really good people to follow and they're, they're more artists and it's really fun watching their art and I'm just getting drawn in by very simplistic things but I can look at it for a while because it's so clever. And it's not, not like highly skilled art, it's just what the little bit they've done has just dragged you in. You sort of look at it and go, yeah, that's, I'm really, I could hang that on the wall. And then as soon as I click on a photo site, I go, I wouldn't hang any of that on the wall. It's a pelican. A pelican. <laughs> <laughs> a pier going out of focus. Some wishy-washy waves that have been <laughs> slow focused. Some stars that are moving through the sky. It just, like all that stuff's nice, but it's nice. Nice. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it's the worst thing you can say to someone. Someone on the workshop said something about nice. And I said, yeah, no. <laughs> it's a, nice is not. Nice means nobody saw it. And look, the early people who did come up with those things, like the, the star lines, you've seen those stars that have got all the stars curling through the sky. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like... Well, oh, it's actually it's been the, my phone background. The, re the real people have either set up tracking um, cameras, which actually move at the same speed, so it just gets the sky full of stars. Mm -hmm. But the people who want to go for a two or three hour exposure, because they don't have that, then get the stars move over that time. That's so you cool. get those star swirls, which is cool, but somebody did it and somebody else has done it and a trillion people have done it. Yeah, that's true. But it's, it's been done. It's been done. It's been done. It's been done. Yes. Then when I was shooting, shooting say, yeah. 
<laughs> when I was You're shooting, love doing this now, aren't you? I wasn't making fun of you this time. Oh. Um, when I was shooting Shay the other day with the constant light, and I showed this, slowed the shutter speed and dragged. Oh, yes. Um, two of the shots are really cool. I really like them. Can't even see Shay in it, but it's just this beautiful blur of hmm. stuff. No shots are cool because no two are ever going to be exactly the same. No, nah, and you can't do it in Photoshop. Yes. I don't care what you try, you just won't replicate. Yeah, uh, shots are always really cool. But it's no so different than a painter who does that splashing. Mm. He can never reproduce it. It's a once-off splash. Yes. I kind of want to do that, like the, um, the marbling paint on the canvas, that stuff. It looks really fun. The marbling paint. Like you. What's with your hands going? Into this? <laughs> like you're pouring paint on there and then tipping the canvas. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it could be cool. That looks fun. Yeah. I saw a few TikToks about it. TikToks. And I was like, mm, that looks like fun. Could be an artiste. Look an at artiste, me going. Artiste. Except lots of people are doing it. So you're just going to be like the stars. You're going to be It'll pelicans. Be nice. <laughs> you're going to make some pelicans. <laughs> you're going to paint some pelicans with marble. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> I'll have fun doing it. Maybe with my film camera. Well, yeah, am I going to turn into, if I take out my film camera this weekend, am I going to turn into one of those people that are kind of a film elitist? And people are like, my life should be with film. No, you have to have a context to do that. A what? That beautiful old fully automatic little film camera brought out by contacts and all the uh, so many of the influencers are shooting with it now oh. because it's a uh, you don't have to do anything it's auto focus auto expose oh, everything like, I'm shooting on film. and they're about three thousand dollars for a little camera that used to cost oh. hipsters hipsters but they are really they are a really good camera like they're pretty much just a point and shoot but they got good quality glass and they got yeah they funds might just put mine on automatic I don't remember how, what you told me about it. <coughs> it was a while ago. <laughs> it's not autofocus, so you have to focus. Remember the bobbles? Well, it's going to be fun. <laughs> I don't know how You're not going to be focused <laughs> anyway. <laughs> how do I focus when I can't see anything without the camera? Well, you could focus and don't use the word zone. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting the word. But it's not zone focusing, but zone is more like zone metering. It's is this what you were trying to explain to me yesterday? I think so. When you were doing the lighting and There's the There's a name, someone said it and I forgot it. But it's basically you look at, oh, that's five metres away. You dial your lens in until it says five metres away and there's your focus. Lots of street photographers do that. That's how they focus. They basically look at, all right, with this lens, everybody who's two metres away from me, no well, six feet, if you're um, Canadian. What are you flaring your nose at me for? <laughs> your know. nose is a flaring. Oh, is this your, she's got, she's getting the flu and I think she's trying to inject it onto me. Your nose was just flaring. Anyway, um, I don't know why you're doing, is this not about OnlyFans or is this, is this your <laughs> swollen glands? <laughs> um, You've, you continually wreck me, don't you? I didn't mean to flare. You've wrecked yourself. So from here to the table, it's about three metres away. Mm -hmm. Or in American terms, about nine feet away. So you would look on your lens, and here we go. I'll show you on the lens here. We're oh, going to get really here's technical. Here's one I prepared earlier. Here's the one I prepared earlier. So mm -hmm. see that? Yeah. One metre away, 1.2, oh. three, four. So we're going to say we're going to be three metres away, get that in there. And mm -hmm. if we're at F, say, two, see how we've got that little bit of room each side? Right. So they could be slightly further away or not so oh. far away. If we were shooting at, say, F8, look how wide we are there. We've right. got between about two and a, two, just 2.2 metres, nearly out to five metres. Interesting. Interesting. I am learning. Well, I don't know how I'm going to remember that, but I'm um, <laughs> very drunk. I think when you're drunk, you're not going to be able to see meters anyway. Yeah, exactly. That's all. I'll have. You know what? It's art artistic. It's my artistic expression. So just don't even. You put it into auto, so at least you can see something. <laughs> yep. Take the lens cap off because otherwise it's just going to be. Well, they could have an exhibition of blackness. The inside of a lens cap. <laughs> that could be a really cool exhibition. Everyone has 20 to... images of the inside of a lens cap. That's 
they're just black. You know what? There would be hipsters that would like, be like, oh yes, they could really see what they would try to convey with this. It would be those hipsters. Oh, you're one of those people. No, I'm saying they would. So be. you go to the exhibitions, mm. and you're one of the ones psychoanalyzing no. the film that was used to get that effect. And no. there's someone else standing next to you. I just don't get it. It's a pelican. No, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm probably the one going, I just don't get, get it. it. Yeah, the pelican. <laughs> I went to an exhibition in New York many, many years ago, and I'll give you a link, I can't remember his name, but it was absolutely amazing. They're all white canvases. And there were some pretty high figures written next to these white canvases for what they were for sale. And I didn't really know the, the artist, but I went there, I was on invite when I was over there once. And there were some red dots appearing, mm. which means there was stuff selling. And there's sort of, there's just a floodlit white room full of white canvases. And the artists just walked out and thanked everybody for turning up. And especially thanked all of the people that have put, got the red dots out there, that means they've sold. And said, as of this second, all prices have quadrupled. So they had tape over the, over the price was written on these bits of tape, which I thought was novel, but that was so they could tear the tape off. And it was a new price. Mm. Then they flicked the lights off and turned on these spotlights and all of a sudden these images appeared in the shadows on the canvases they used. Oh. Amazing, like horses running in that, but they were just what, the way he had painted left a shadow for light ran for across this way. So the people got in early, and now most likely the people, oh, the strokes. <laughs> <laughs> and to show off, yes, I'm going to buy that. Yeah. They got out with the best prices, yeah. and everybody else was going, oh, I wish I got in before he came out. Yeah. Very, very clever artist. Very, very, clever. very, very, very good exhibition. Well, maybe I'll do something like that with lens caps. With lens caps. Mm -hmm. Well, you could, what you could do is just... Don't tell them. No, I'm not going to whisper it to you. Okay. okay. No, just on the inside of the lens cap, get some white nail polish and paint a little stick figure, put it back on, put it onto autofocus. Hopefully, it might see something. You sell as NFTs. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a fortune. NFTs are the way to go. Seriously, oh, yeah. the amount of money you'll make out of an NFT. Yeah, I've heard. Yep. I've heard it's totally not like a pair of I'm a, No, I'm about to do NFTs myself. Oh, really? I really am. Yep, I'm going to do naked stick figures of Beck as NFTs. Mm. So just a stick, 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 you won't have any clothes on. <laughs> Everyone will be able to have a naked stick figure of you. And I, the, 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 one or two hundred thousand COVID's, what are they called? Um, <laughs> oh, the things that they buy them for, the tokens, the... Bitcoins. Bitcoins, the COVID, <laughs> COVID coins. It's a, we're, we're going to start our own Bitcoin thing, it's going to be COVID coins. <laughs> You have to wear a mask when you buy them. <laughs> anyway, I think uh, we're still very tired. Oh my God. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about you NFT. Can, no, 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 I don't want no, to say No, I want to hear your joke. It's really inappropriate though. <laughs> That's all right. Everyone else can cancel you. <laughs> I was going to say that I already have NFTs. <laughs> nice fucking chits. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. I think we'll leave it there. So I'm going to do some stick figures of Bex not <laughs> NFTs. So I'm going to draw some NFTs. We'll put them up for sale. <laughs> now you know what they are. Oh my God. I can't believe you just said that. I wasn't going to and then you're like, no, I want to hear your joke. Cancelled. So cancelled. Oh my God, I need to get some sleep. Next week. Bye guys. <laughs>